Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for this other edition of using the calculator to solve questions involving equations. So we are dealing with equations, and what you see on your left-hand side, they are samples of past questions objectives that we want to help use the calculator in solving them. My name is Dalen Fee, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please look at the red button and kindly click on that to subscribe. Okay, so the question says that solve 1 over 3 plus y over 4 is equal to 2y plus 1 over 5. Now, let me say here that the manufacturers of the calculator, the default variable they use in the calculator is x. So when dealing with equations, any other variable that we see, we are going to change it into y. And we are going to change it into x. And that will be easy for us to solve. So in this question, we are going to replace the y in these questions with x. Now, let's enter this equation on the calculator. Okay, so first, let's clear the calculator to be sure that the values that we'll get will always be the exact value. And to clear the calculator, you simply have to press on... Okay. Now, okay, so to clear the calculator, all you need to do is that you press Shift, and then you press 9, you select 3, and then it's equal to, and you are done. So let's enter the equation that we see. 1 over 3 is a fraction, and we need to press the fraction button. We have 1 up, you move down, and then you key in 3. Then you move from the bottom. Now the next one is plus, so we click on plus, and the next one is y over 4. And we are saying we are replacing every y with x. To get the x, you press alpha, and then you press the x. Okay, now we need to bring the brackets. Uh, we need to bring the fraction button first. So fraction comes, and to get the x, alpha x. Then let's go down, and then we click on 4. We are done with that. So we move out of the denominator. The next thing is, is equal to. The equal sign you see is the one just below the shifts. To get it, press alpha, and then you press the equal sign button. Then we have 2y plus 1 all over 5. This is a fraction. You click on the fraction button, and then we have 2 alpha and then x. Remember, we are replacing the y with x. So plus 1. Then we move down. We have 5. Okay. So now we have gotten the equation. Let's cross check if we have done the right thing. Now, once you know that the equation in the question is what you have entered, to solve it, you press shift, and then you press solve. And then you are going to, whatever, when the calculator asks you what value of x do you want, always for equation, put zero there. So you click on zero, and then you press is equal to. That means the answer is 0 0.88888 recurring. So the question is that which of the possible answers will give us 0 0.888 recurring? To do that, let's add them one by one. The first one is 8 divided by 9. And when you press the equal sign, let's <coughs> change it to um, decimal. And you see, we are getting exactly what we had. So it simply means the right answer for question number one is going to be 8. And we are done. Okay, now we move on. So let's clear the calculator so we can solve the next question. And the next question actually says that solve the equation 3 over 8, bracket open, y minus 2. Now we have said earlier, whenever we see y, we are going to change it with x. And so this first one is a, a fraction. So you click on the fraction button, you press 3, you go down, and then you press 8. And then you move out of the denominator column. The next one is the bracket. So you bring the bracket. Now we are changing the y with x. So you press alpha, and then you press the x. Then we have minus 2. So minus 2 comes, and then you close your bracket. Then we have is equal to, once again, this equal sign is the one below the shift. To get it, you press alpha, and then you press this calc. It will come. 
Then we have 1 over 4, which is a fraction. That means you click on the fraction button. The top one is 1. Then you go down. Then we have 4. Okay, so leave the, the downside by clicking the right arrow key. Now you bring your brackets. And then we have 2y. So you, you press on 2. And then alpha x. Okay, then minus 3. So minus 3. Okay, so the equation has been entered. I want to cross check to be sure that I've done the right thing. Once you are sure you've done the right thing, to solve, simply press the shift and then you press the solve. Once again, in equation, whenever we say this, simply um, click on zero. So you press on zero, then it's equal to, then we are getting zero. So it means that the answer is zero. Now, let's go through the possible answers, and you can see the right answer is option A. The answer is zero, so we are done. Now, the last question. The sum of four consecutive odd numbers is 1112. Find the list find the list of the four numbers. Now, um, for consecutive odd numbers, let's have an example. So, this example of odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. These are all odd numbers. Now, from the first odd number to the second odd number, you can see the difference is 2. All right? And then from the second to the third one, the difference is 2. Now, let's come back here. If the first odd number is this one, and the second odd number, how do you get a second odd number? You get it by adding 2. Right? Now, if you want to get the third odd number, and uh, so one, how do you get the third odd number? You can see the difference between the first and the third one is four. Okay, so to get a third odd number, it's simply going to be one plus four will give you the third odd number. Now, using this background, let's solve this. This is a general expression. Now, for whether odd numbers or even numbers, if the numbers are consecutive, and uh, consecutive, and we are not too sure of the numbers. In mathematics, what we don't know, we represent that with a variable. So, assuming in this question, the first odd number is x. And we know to get the second odd number, you add 2 to the first odd number to get a second odd number. So, if the first one is x, then the second odd number is going to be x plus 2. Okay, and then the third odd number from this example, first one is 1. To get the second one, you add 2 to the first one, you get 3. Now, to get the fourth one, um, the third one, you simply add 4 to the first one, and you get it. So, the first one is going to be x. Second one is x plus 2. Third one, x plus 4. Then, the fourth one is x plus 6. If we're talking about the fifth number, it would have been x plus 8. But the question says, the sum of, um, the sum of four consecutive odd numbers. Now, because we don't know the numbers, x is the first one, this is the second one, x plus 2, the third one is x plus 4, and the fourth one, x plus 6. So the, way, the question says the sum, meaning when we add all these, we are going to get 1, 1, 1, 2. Now, what is the number? To do that, I clear my calculator first, and then I am going to add these numbers on the calculator and see what we get. So, as we have explained, now, the first one is x, so let's enter x, that's alpha and then x. Then, the second one, so plus, we are, we are talking about the sum of four numbers. So, the first one is x, and the second one is x plus 2. So, alpha x, and then plus 2. Okay, so we have gotten that. Then, plus the third one, which is x plus 4. So, bracket open, we have alpha x. Mm, alpha x and then plus 4 so we add 4 to it then you close your bracket and then plus the next one is uh, so open the bracket we have x so to get the x alpha then x and then you have plus 6 okay so now I've entered all the odd numbers so the sum of four consecutive odd numbers is 1 1 1 2 Meaning, when I add all these numbers, I should get 1, 1, 1, 2. So, you, you have to bring the equal sign button. 
So equal sign that is alpha and this equal sign and the sum is one 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 two. Okay. Now let's go through the work and then you see what we have done. So the first one is x. The second one is x plus two. And the third one x plus four. And the last one x plus six. All these odd numbers when you add you should get one thousand one hundred and twelve. Now to solve this, you press shift and then you press the solve button and we are seeing that at all time for equation you put zero there. So you click on zero and you press the equal sign. So what's the number? The least number is 275. Now we go through the answer, we are getting 275 as option 2. And this is how easy you can use your calculator to solve questions involving equation. Once again, if you are yet to subscribe, we encourage you to please do so. My name is Stalin Fee, and this is the end of this presentation. Thank you so much, and have a good day.